right. Just undock. Push away. Oh, what the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh. What the fuck was that? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Seriously, what the fuck was that? Ah. Oh. Look at that fucking debris field. That is what is remaining of our International Space Station. This is like that fucking movie with Sandra Bullock. And what's his nuts? Fuck. We got hit by a rogue comet. What are the odds of that? I'm serious. I'm, I'm beyond serious. This is not a rhetorical question. I'm going to get on my serious face. Hold on. <clears throat> What is the statistical probability of this event occurring? It's gotta be like a billion, a fucking billion, 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 trillion, billion to one. Or one in a billion trillion, whatever that system is. Fuck! Ah, uh, like part of me wants to just be like, nope, and just like reload and be like, fuck you, and just shift to the right like 40 feet. And then the other half of me is like, this is fucking awesome. And I want to show everybody, but, but seriously, like I can't have a save file with this much trash floating around. Like, what do we do guys? What do we do? Okay. Fuck. Okay. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. But here's the question. Here's the question. Does anyone really care if this stuff is floating around? Can I just pretend like we're going to make some space mission to come clean it up? Which is fucking impossible. We all know that, but I can just delete all these pieces one at a time. If anybody has an objection to that, feel free to comment. Otherwise, I'm just going to assume, by your silence, that you're okay with me just deleting all these little parts and we'll, we'll pretend like they're out there, but I don't want to track them. You know what I mean? I don't want to see this shit floating around little rings on my fucking map. Uh, and if you're a mathematician, if you're one of those kids, you know, and you're in the grade 12 applied science and applied math and, you know, you get good grades and stuff, Feel free to try and crunch the numbers on what the odds are of that happening. A, I assume it was like a little, a little comet, like an A or B class comet. I have no idea. We can actually, we can probably go look. Where'd that little asshole go? There he is back there. 170. 170. How do we do this? We go, okay, we'll come back in a minute. We'll come back to that. We're going to finish that mission. We are gonna finish that mission. <sighs> it is a C class. Okay, can we go to it? No. Um, I could try and like rendezvous with it before it falls into Earth's Atmo there, but no, we can't do that suborbital trajectory so it did like an air break and then came out the other side slowed down got just the right curve to come fuck us in the ass and now it's gonna come out slow down and come right back around to earth what a dick what a dick and i'm gonna have to delete all this debris Oh, there's so much of it. There's so much of it. Okay. ISS orbiting Kerbin, is that the craft? Let's go take a peek. I have no idea what's what now. We have a little thing that we're... That's not it. <laughs> Can we get... Oh, this is... This is going to be tedious. I feel like I'm just going between the same pieces. I think I am just going between the same pieces. Okay. There's... Is that it? That might be it. Nope. Okay. Back to the map. 
God fucking damn it. Untitled Spacecraft? Let's switch to that. There we go. Jesus. Okay. So there's no debris field in front of us. There's a big, big one in every direction, but not right through the middle. Okay, we're going to thread the needle here. We're going to thread it. Oh, if we break, where are we coming down? I mean, we could break like hard and try and just fall straight down right here. Yep, that's what we're doing. Okay, here we go. We're going to break hard. This trash is going to seamlessly fly right by us. So the objective was a simple crew exchange. And now it's going to turn into a, a whole to-do. People down on Earth are probably panicking and freaking out. We would have very limited information at this point. a lot of fuel. I could probably make this quite a bit smaller. You just have to time it better. Because yeah, I could have taken a mere probably 60 units, 70 units to probably get low on the other side here. So yeah, note to self. Because we're going to have to remake the International Space Station now. <laughs> we can't just like not have an International Space Station. That would just be an, in an injustice to science. Fuck. Motherfucker. Just sporadically getting me angry. Alright, we might not... It might be like a water landing or <laughs> something of the sort. Because, well, we could always, like, literally stop and start going backwards. Because I think we've got, we've got the fuel for it. I don't have the electricity for it, ironically. Just as the electric charge was running out, I got the solar panel out. Where's the sun? Why isn't that's why. Okay. It's getting very little. We're just hemorrhaging electricity like crazy. So we put both of those out and roll over a bit. How about like that? Yeah? Do you like? Do you like? Do you like? Doesn't like. No. No. Oh, maybe. Maybe, maybe it's. No. No, it doesn't like. We turn the lights off. Nope. No lights. I, I have no idea what's hemorrhaging so much electricity. Yeah, it's going to be a water landing because we are running down on fuel. Oh, there's Cape Curb Navarro. If we had parachutes. No, no, that would be. No. Never mind. So definitely going to be a water landing. And it looks like I've prepared for that. Maybe. Well, we don't need this anymore. Boink! See ya, fellow. Uh, hello? That's weird. Oh, okay. Yeah, I get it. That's a heat shield and then a decouple on the heat shield, so we can actually knock that away at the same time. Hmm. I'm going to leave the heat shield on, because when we get down to land, this is going to take some of the brunt of the impact. Um, we definitely don't need... Let's do this. Oh, that was stupid. Yeah, that was pretty stupid. Because I think it's just going to burn up. We're going to be going way too fast, way too soon. I've got the other D-Rogues that should be... Oh, the two of them? Fuck. We might have borked. Might have borked. Unless one of these is an engineer. Let's see. How about Bart B? No. A 
little Kevin Nealon? Nope. How about Tholine? Nope. So until it's deployed, you can't. You can reshoot. You can restuff a parachute, and I thought maybe the game would let me do it before I've actually deployed it. Oh, now it's making electricity. Fucking dick. Put these away. This one's gonna come out on its own. That will be good enough. Turn SAS off. We're at the mercy of aerodynamics. Dynamics. Falling, falling down at a really weird angle. This is going to be ugly. Yeah, this is this is not going to go well. They're like really excited about it. They're just happy to be alive. Imagine what it looked like through their little windows, watching that chaos. All right, hoping that's going to deploy at some point or not. Never mind. Hope it doesn't deploy. I need you to slow down a buttload first. Try to conserve electricity by turning off the SAS once in a while. But as soon as I do, it starts walking away. Oh, there's the parachute. Holy shit, it's actually holding up. Oh my god, please hold up. Please hold up. Please hold up. That's amazing. There it goes. Okay, well, it slowed me down like a ton. So, eh. Better than nothing. Alright, we're gonna slow way down before I deploy those D-Rogues. to shed this weight. Let's see how fast we're going. 60 meters a second. How about... Nope, got no RCS left, so I can't even... can't even burn. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's hope we don't die. Fingers crossed, everybody. Four. There will have to be four unfortunate letters sent to four brand new widows. It's never an easy one to write. It's never an easy one to write that your husband or wife was killed on the job due to a unforeseen comet strike and emergency landing malfunction. Well, another another somber video in the KSP series here at Noel on PC. Damn. I feel like I failed. I definitely failed. This was a, a complete and utter failure, but I think it's going to make for good TV. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you, uh, again, I've asked you to comment on a number of things, so please feel free. Uh, yeah, guys, thanks a lot. Until next time. Peace, love, cheers.